Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 18th, 19th, and 20th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Capricorns. Now, you know when I am reading for the weekend. I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks, I'm using my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, whatever the message. My job, just deliver it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have. One, two, and three. I will be doing my Capricorn in Capricorn season. I'm just a little bit behind, so I'm sorry. But I think that I did a, I'm going to be, I'm going to brag on me. I think that I, I really liked the, um, I know I liked the Capricorn overview, the Capricorn summary, lots of stuff going on. So please take a look at that. Nothing is reversed. Reversed has a little stronger oomph to it. Let's see what the weekend has for my Capricorns. And my Capricorns, um, I see you in a doorway. And the thing about this doorway is you're, you're just standing in the doorway. It's like you're just standing. I can't see what's beyond the doorway, but it's like you're just standing there. You have the door open and you're just standing there. So I don't know, is there some decisions coming for you this weekend? Are you thinking about making a new step, taking a step? I can't see what's beyond that doorway. I don't know that you can see what's beyond the doorway, but I feel like you're standing there. And again, it's like, so here it is. So it would be like this. And you're thinking, it, it's like, do I go through the doorway? Okay, let's see what we have. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's just kind of like you just, and that's okay. That's okay. Because my Capricorn, sometimes you need to just kind of stay. You know, when somebody makes you, when it's, when it's one of those times where they're like, you have to make this decision, sometimes the best thing is just to say, I will wait, just to wait before you make the decision. So this could be a holding pattern right now. I don't necessarily know. Well, we'll, we'll just go and see what we have. Because like I said, you're, you've got the door. And it's not even that, you have, that you're holding the door knob. It's like you, you're having, your hand is lightly resting on the door. And so it's almost like, are you going through it or are you going to shut it closed? But you're just, you're just standing there. First card, let's see what we have here. Anyway, first card up is the Queen of Fire. Now, queens have the underlying emotion of water, which is emotional. Okay, so there is an emotional thing here. But fire energy is our Sagittarius. We're about to end Sagittarius season and come into your season. It's also Aries. It's also Leo. Passionate, burning, determined. Now, but you know, but there's also this emotional commitment here too. So it's kind of like, do I, you know, there's this, there's this yearning, but at the same time, there's this fire. There's this, you know, do I want to do this? Do I need to do this? But the queen is also about spreading her wings, is about, you know, you know, setting, I'm getting setting sail. It's not that setting sail, but it's setting sail is what I'm getting, okay? So, but it's spreading her wings, it's flying or setting sail, you know, floating out into the unknown, floating out into that, you know, into that, you know, I don't, well, abyss, and, you know, floating or, you know, just going out to those places that you're not normally used to going to. So I think that the door, and when I'm getting the thing with the setting sail, you know, it, it's just kind of a, it's unknown, it's unknown territory. It's unknown, um, you know, just, it, it, it's kind of scary because it's like, I don't know, I don't have the control over it either. Okay. Anyway, the queen of fire, however, is confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Your next card is the five of earth. Now, earth is your energy. It's also our um, Tauruses and it's also Virgo energy. Now, you know, something you can hold, 
We know that money, money, job, all you know, all of those things that are practical, that are, and, I, and again, I'm not, no, you know, normally I'll tell you that it's your money, your, you know, but this is your practicality. This is being practical. This is, you know, do I, you know, this is practical. I, I can't, practical. Fives are about change. Now, it could be positive, negative. It's scary kind of change because, you know, between the queen of fire you know, and then this innate part of you that's practical, these two may be at a little bit at odds with each other, okay? You know, it might be, I want to, but, I want to, but. So these are a little bit at odds with it. Now, it could also be that, you know, in order for you to walk through that door, you're going to, you know, you don't know what your money's going to look like. You know, maybe, maybe this is, you know, but again, it's like you're at the door, you're at the door. It's not that you're in, you know, you're at the door. You decide, are you walking through or are you going to stay there? So this is, this has that type of energy for the weekend. Anyway, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Your last card here, the moon. Okay, so we have the 18. And that kind of brings me up to, you know, December 18th. So, you know, the 18th, sometimes the numbers come just right at the time we need them to come. So we have the 1, new beginnings, 10, transition, 8, unlimited possibilities. Now, this is also the moon, and we also have Archangel Heniel. So write down Archangel Heniel's name. We'll help you through this. But this is, again, this is the unknown. This is, do I commit? This is this is scary. This is scary, especially to a Capricorn. To a Capricorn, you kind of look at things like, okay, I I know that I can commit because there's a seventy eight percent chance of of good follow through. This is you don't know what the odds are. You just don't know what the odds are. You you just have these two things that are these two kind of spirits that are just. Um, and you know, I, they're they're competing with each other. They're competing. Want to fly? Uh, not so sure. Okay. And then we have the moon. Then we have the moon. And there's a lot of things that's hidden. There's a lot of things you don't know. So it's kind of you know crossroads decisions. All of the above. Uh, you know, unlimited opportunities too. It's kind of exciting. It is exciting. But you know, I'm not an Earth sign. <laughs> so. I'm a fire sign. To me, it's like, oh, oh, okay, let's go, let's go. Anyway, anyway, it is good, though. Reach out, higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, or your archangel. Now, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. It's kind of, yeah, because that's kind of the thing. And I'm not, you know, I mean, you know, you, you'll do what the, you'll do the right thing for you at this moment. You will. But again, I, it's like, like I said, it's you, you've got your hand like this resting on the door and you're either going to open it and go through or you're just going to shut the door. Let's go on here. Here we go. So I guess the question is, do you walk through it? Here we go. This one is reverse, stronger energy. Six of Raphael. Now, Raphael is water energy. It is Pisces. It's also um, Cancer. It's also Scorpio energy. It's fluid. It's emotional. There's this, you know, there's this sense of looking back. There's this sense of, do I, you know, there's the sense of um, nostalgia. There's the sense of kind of, you know, kind of wanting to go back, you know, there. They're going back to those child that, that childhood going it, it you know where that was a safer place for you I'm not saying that everybody's childhood was a safe place but you know try, but it was like looking back at that safer place how's that looking at that place that you know and again I'm not saying that it was totally safe I think that we look back on our lives and we see things the way you know, we have to color them in a way that we can live with them, okay? So, you know, so understand that, you know, maybe that's not the true reality of it, but it brings us comfort to think back on that time and place, whether it be childhood or even a year ago, okay? Okay, 
Anyway, embrace your inner child. Now, the inner child is usually the one that wants to go and uh, try those new things. New friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So there is, there is an emotional component to this. There is kind of that, oh, you know, that not wanting to let go, the little bit of the nostalgia. And while this is all about, like I said, do you go through the door? Do you not? I can't tell. You'll have to tell me. Okay. Let's go on and see what Crystal will possibly assist during this week and Yes, let's 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 separate all our syllables there. Okay, here we go. Oh. You didn't want to be shuffled that way. Here we go. Okay, this one is reversed. Pyrite. Pyrite. Good change of fortune. Success. Renewed focus leadership. I think this is my pyrite. I think this is pyrite. There's another one that looks just like this, but I think this is, the, so sometimes this is, this is multi, uh, multi-purpose, okay? <laughs> I think this is pyrite though. So good change of fortune, success, renewed focus, leadership. So Interesting. Interesting. Is that about a promotion, maybe? Are, is somebody out there getting ready for a promotion and you're a little bit worried if you can do it or not? Oh, yeah. Capricorns, you can do it. You can do it. Anyway, my Capricorns, remember that button. Like, share, subscribe. Let's get this all out there. But most importantly, my Capricorns, besides, let me give you an early happy birthday. But more importantly, always, always, Know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.